All right, Titans, we've decided that we need to utilize a pressure infuser bag for our patients, uh, whether it be in the IO or what, what have you. So we have a 1000 ml InfoSurge uh, pressure infuser. First thing we wanna do is after our bag is spiked and uh, fluid is being delivered to our patient, we wanna slide our bag into the pressure infuser. Keep in mind that we want the, the labeling and our measurements on the netted side because you won't be able to visualize the amount of fluids you're giving to your patient or how many you have delivered so far on this side. <clears throat> We're gonna hang our pressure infuser. Keep in mind that when you go to the three o'clock position, this is where we're going to fill up our, the air inside of our pressure infuser. It's gonna take a few pumps. And you'll see that the fluid is starting, or the bag is starting to gain pressure from the air inside the pressure infuser. So in this, your stream inside your drip set is going to become faster. Once I have the pressure that I want for my pressure infuser, I'm going to go to the 12 o'clock position. This maintains the current pressure that you have. Now, as the IV bag starts to deflate or starts to lose some of its volume, you may have to go back to the three o'clock position and increase the pressure to maintain that fluid intake. And at the six o'clock position, when we're ready to take that off, if you do, the three o'clock position is going to let the air back out of the pressure infuser bag.